so welcome all today we are discussing calendar problems uh, so today is a marathon lecture series we are conducting three lectures will be there on general aptitude uh, as exam is uh, happening next week we are taking three live sessions today uh, 11 am 2 pm and 8 30 pm so subscribe the channel so that you will get updated whenever we go live so uh, first topic is calendar problem next topic is clock problem next topic is coding decoding so we are starting with calendar problem so invite all your friends share this link to maximum people let more people be part of this lecture series and uh, this is the 38th lecture in the series previous all lectures you can see in this channel and uh, if you want printed study material for CSIR net party this is currently the best seller book for party preparation it is available in amazon and flipkart so uh, these are the other playlists in this channel if you are preparing for gate exam and other exams also there are playlists available in this channel gate full length courses available gate general aptitude free complete courses available and uh, uh, for CSIR, other playlist September 2022 full paper analysis, June 2023 full paper analysis and last 10 years previous year questions are there in this playlist and also you can see Vedic math related lectures or speed math related lecture and UPSC exam related lectures also you can see in this channel. So invite your friends or share these playlists to maximum people and if you want to be part of our free resources the telegram channel whatsapp group and the website christyvergis.in check the description of this video or scan this qr code or search these keywords in uh, search these keywords and be part of those resources so let us start today's topic calendar problem make sure all of you have shared the link to maximum people i am taking multiple lectures today itself because the exam is happening next week so before exam the whole topics we need to cover so uh, if more people are there, that will be encouraging for me to take sessions, uh, more uh, interactive and more uh, encouraging sessions, sorry, more in, uh, engaging sessions we can plan if more people are there. Okay, so calendar problem, there are some things you need to know about calendars. First of all, uh, many of us have misunderstanding about calendars. I will tell you, uh, due to lack of time, I will just uh, summarize some of the mis misunderstanding you may have about calendar. So, how many days are there in an year? You can mention in the chat also, but I will uh, answer it myself. But you can mention it in the chat and comments whether these things are clear to you also. So, how many days are there in an year? Some of you may say 365, some of you may say 366 or some of you may clearly know. In a leap year, there is 366 days. In an ordinary year, O, Y, L, Y for ordinary year and leap year. Ordinary year, 365 days. In a leap year, it is 366 days. So, in leap year, it is 366 and you know that it is February 29. That is the day that is one day extra. is called uh, February 29. But how to identify a given year as a leap year? Can you tell me how to identify a given year as a leap year? Or let me ask you the question. First one, can you say whether 2024 is a leap year or not? Is it a leap year or not? 2024 is a leap year or not? Any answers? Whether 2024 leap year or not? Or just mention OY or LY, ordinary year or leap year? Any answers? Yes, it is a leap year. It is a leap year. I agree. What about 2028? What about 2028? It is also a leap year. Na? Or what you practically do there? You check whether it is a multiple of 4. In the number system divisibility lecture in this course, we already discussed. To check whether a number is divisible by 4, just check the last two digits. If that number is a multiple of 4, that original number will also be a multiple of 4. So, 24 is a multiple of 4. So, 2024 is also a multiple of 4. And that is how you understood it is a leap year. Na? Okay, then let me extend this question further. What about 2400? Is it a leap year? Last two digits 0. So, 0 is a multiple of 4. So, 2400 is also a multiple of 4. So, that is a leap year. What about 2000? 200 that is also zero zero na so it should be a leap year that is what 
all of you think? If so, as I told you, to lack of time, I will answer it. You can mention whether this is a new information or not. This is not a leap year. This is what you should understand. If you think that every multiple of 4 is a leap year, that is wrong. Multiple of 4 leap year, that is a wrong condition. That is partially only true. Every multiple of 4 are not leap year. 2200 is clearly a multiple of 4 as it is a multiple of 100, it is a multiple of 4 also. But it is not a leap year, it is an ordinary year. Why? Because there is a second criteria for leap year. There is a second criteria for leap year. If the given year is a century, it should be divisible by 400 also for it to be a leap year. Given year is a century means 2100, 2200, 2300, 2400, all these are centuries. In this, 2400 is a leap year because it is a multiple of 400. But 2100, 2200, 2300 are not multiples of 400. Multiples of 400 means 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400, etc. So these three, even if it is multiple of 4, they are not leap years. Now the question comes, what, why this condition? CSR have asked a direct question based on this idea, whether you know this second criteria of leap year. So I will explain more about it because this is something that you should understand. Why the second criteria is there? Is it to make the calendar problem more challenging these conditions are added? No. It is actually uh, purely based on the rotation of earth or revolution of earth around the sun. What is an year? Year is the time taken by earth to revolve around the sun. No? That is what we call as 365 and quarter. But it is not exactly quarter. Quarter means it should be 365.25. No? But it is not 0.25. It is actually 0.2422. It is 365.2422. That we are approximating it as 0.25. And 0.25 is 1 fourth. That is what we say. Every year 1 fourth of a day is added together for 4 years to make it one extra day and that day is called the leap day or February 29 in a leap year. But as I told it is not exactly 0.25. If it was 0.25 I agree then exactly four years are needed to make a full day. But it is 0.2422. The difference between these two is approximately 11 minutes if you convert it into minutes. That means there is a there is a reduction of 11 minutes or approximation of 11 minutes in every year. That means one year there is a mistake of 11 minutes. One year there is a mistake of 11 minutes. So in four years the mistake will be almost 44 minutes. 44 minutes lesser. Are you getting the point? And if you calculate this, if you con consider for 400 years, you can see that the total mistake will amount to 3 days. 11 minutes in a year, 44 minutes in 4 years and 400 years it will be 3 days, 3 complete days. That means if you say every 4 year it is a leap year, with the actual calendar the mistake is of 3 days in every 400 years. That means now we are living in 2023 or about to start 2024. So by this 2024 years, 3 day, 3 day, 3 day, 3 day, almost 15 days mistake is there. Are you understanding what is the meaning of that? Every 400 days, 400 years, 3 day mistake. So in 2000 years, it will be 15 day mistake because 400 into 5 is 2000. That means when I am taking this live session today, it is 21st December. So it is not 21st December, it is 15 days before 21st December. That is 6th December or so. That means all the dates we understood is wrong. Na? That is why the second criteria is there. To correct this mistake. To correct this mistake. If a year is a century, it should be a multiple of 400 also. That is added to practically correct this mistake. How? Because, for example, these four consecutive centuries, these three are considered, are multiples of four those. So, Naturally, those should be uh, leap years. But by deleting them from the list of leap years, we are deleting three days. Na? We are 
considering three February 29s deleted from the list. That will reduce the three day mistake in 400 years. Now, all of you understood this. The mistake of three day will be corrected by doing the second criteria or adding the second criteria. And adding of the second criteria is called adoption of Gregorian calendar. Or in Gregorian calendar, this correction was done. It was done by Pope Gregory. That is why it is called Gregorian calendar. In every four years, there is a leap year. That calendar is called Julian calendar. That was actually uh, uh, revised years before or centuries before. Actually, in 1582, Pope Gregory fixed this problem. But 1582, all the countries didn't accept this. Some countries accepted way after. Some countries accepted very soon. And in 1750 only, British Empire accepted it. 1750 only. And uh, later, okay, the history you can read later. So, Europe, all whole Europe accepted later and... Uh, 1927 only the country Turkey accepted this. That means only on 1927 all the countries accepted the uh, accepted the new calendar or Gregorian calendar. So now what we use the international calendar is called Gregorian calendar. In that the rules are like this. For deciding a leap year it should be a, it should be divisible by four. But if it is a century it should be divisible by four hundred. Century means by default it is multiple of 4. Now, I will, I will show you how CSAR asks a question based on this, whether you know this criteria. And that is a beautiful question. Because the way CSAR asks that question is beautiful. This was that question. Can you try this question? Every knowledge is important. That is why uh, I explain these things because... CSR have asked this in a totally different way whether you know this criteria or not. Read the question carefully and answer it. It's a probability question and calendar problem, a hybrid question. CSR can ask multiple uh, hybrid questions in the same question paper. This is not only for CSR, for gate exam also these concepts are needed or other exams also these concepts are needed. So try this all of you. Okay, due to lack of time, I will start explaining. If a four-digit year is chosen randomly, what is the probability that it is not a leap year? R chosen randomly, that means in every four years, how many leap years are there? That is what the question is indirectly saying. In the probability chapter, I already told you, probability is required outcome divided by total outcome. Required outcome divided by total outcome. I will take a set of examples as it is, um, as it is four digit year, let us start from say thousand, thousand onwards. If you say thousand, thousand and one, thousand and two, thousand and three, these four years, how many leap years are there? This is zero, zero ending, so it is multiple of four, but as it is not a multiple of 400, this is not a leap year. So this is an ordinary year, not a leap year means ordinary year. This is also ordinary year, this is also ordinary year, this is also ordinary year. That means 0 out of 4 are leap years. 0 out of 4 are leap years. Or 4 out of 4 are ordinary years. 4 out of 4 are ordinary years. But if you consider 1000 for 1005, next set of 4 uh, years, 1000 for 1005, 1006 and 1007, in those 4 years, 1004 is a leap year. That means... Probability will be 3 out of 4 for a not a leap year or ordinary year. That means in general we can say in some set of 4 years, 3 out of 4 are ordinary years. In some set of 4 years, 4 out of 4 are ordinary years. 
So on an average, it will be greater than 3 by 4. Na? It will be greater than 3 by 4. So option D is the correct answer. Or in other words, words also you can say, if the first criteria only was there, not a leap year probability will be 3 out of 4. Because in every 4 years, 3 ordinary years are there, 1 leap year is there. But due to the second criteria, some of the years we think it is leap year, it is not ordinary years. That will, sorry, it is not leap years, it is ordinary years. That means that will increase the number of ordinary years. No? So that means that will increase the probability of ordinary years. So that means it will be greater than 3 by 4. We don't want to say exactly how much it is, whether it is 3 by 4 or greater than 3 by 4 only. That is what the question is asking. If you know only the first criteria of leap year, you will say option A is the answer because in every 4 years, 3 ordinary years are there. But that is totally wrong because of the second criteria, previous CSER net problem. All of you understood this? Why this information is important? All of you understood this? So, the second criteria is the reason for that. By taking examples also you can prove it or by generalizing it also you can prove it. Greater than 3 by 4. Now, if the question was asking, same question was asked like what is the probability of leap years? It will be less than 1 by 4. Less than 1 by 4. Okay, so uh, let us go back to more theory. So, this is one important aspect you should know. Now, odd days is the next important aspect. Odd days. What is odd days? By definition, odd days are extra days after complete weeks. Extra days after complete weeks. For example, when we are discussing this in the live session, now it is December. December how 31 days. December how 31 days. 31 days means it have 24 weeks, that is 28 days. Then after... After that, 3 days are extra. So, 3 is the odd day corresponding to December. Why extra days after, oh, after complete weeks is important? Because complete weeks will not change the day of the week. With the question, I will explain the importance of odd days. With the CSCR net question itself, we will uh, understand this. This was a December 2019 net exam problem. Make a try all of you. Make a try all of you. Okay, I'll start explaining due to lack of time. What day of the week will it be? 61 days from a Friday. So, just assume today is a Friday. If today is a Friday, 61 days from today will be what day of the week? That is the question. As I told, what days is important. 61 days means, if you write it as 56 plus 5, then the question is over. What is 56? 56 is the number of days after all complete weeks are taken out. Complete weeks means 8 complete weeks are there. 8 into 7 is 56. 8 into 7 is 56. That means 8 complete weeks. Due to complete weeks, day of the week will not change. Now, if today is Friday, 7th day from today also is a Friday. 7th day from today is also Friday. 14th day also will be Friday. Because multiple of 7, that will be the same day itself. Isn't it? 21st day will also be Friday, etc. up to 56th day also will be Friday. That is why this 56 is important. That means by 56 days, day of the week will not change. Only by these odd days or extra days, day of the week will change. How many? 5 odd days, so 5 day will change. From Friday, 5 day. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Wednesday will be the answer. Option D, Wednesday. All of you understood? Those who are of mathematics background, you can actually consider this with respect to reminder theorem also. 61 mod 7, that is called odd day concept, that is the odd day concept. That is 5 or you can say that is minus 2 also. 5 and minus 2 are same with respect to reminder when you divide by 7. Minus 2 means Friday minus 2, if you do also, you will get Wednesday. Or if you are not clear or not familiar with the reminder theorem idea, you can do this logically also with this minus idea. Instead of 56, consider 63, which is a multiple of 7. 
by 63 day it will be again a Friday. Na? So 61 is 2 day before Friday because 63 minus 2 is 61. So that is Wednesday. That way also you can do because adding 5, subtracting 2 which is easier. Subtracting 2 obviously because only 2 day shifting is needed. In other case, you will be confused. Friday plus 5, is it Wednesday or Thursday or Tuesday? You have to count one by one. But Friday minus 2 is Wednesday is easier. So that is practically uh, easier. So this was a previous question, previous CSER net question, purely based on odd days. Another question, super easy question due to lack of time, I am starting explanation. If today is a Thursday, today is a Thursday, 59 days, uh, after 59 days, after 56 days, it will be Thursday again. So, after 59 days means 57, 58, 59. 3 days added. 3 days added will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, Sunday will be the answer. Super easy, na? All of you understood? So, that is how odd day concept will be helpful. Now, odd day connected to days we discussed. And odd day connected to months you can understand like this. You should know the number of days in every month. You should know the number of days in every month and I will suggest you to learn number of odd days of every month also. Like January is 31 means it is 28 plus 3 so 3 is the odd day. That means what is practically meaning of that? If January 1 is a Monday say then February 1 will be what? January to February 31 day difference that is 3 day difference. So Monday 3 day added just like the previous question. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday it is. That is how the odd days of months will help you. That is not for January 1, Jan February 1 only. If it or, or, uh, Not only January 1, February 1. If it is say January 13, February 13. That will also be the same 3 day difference itself. Because January 13 to February 13, there is 31 days only. That is 31 days is 3 odd day. All of you understood this? And you should know the odd day connected to years also because that is how you can understand how many days are shifting. In an ordinary year, 365 days are there. 365 when you divide by 7, you will get 52 weeks or 52 as quotient and after that extra days is 1. 52 weeks will not change the day of the week. But this one day will change the day of the week. That is why one odd day is important. In leap year, it will be two odd days because reminder when you divide by 7 is Two. Why dividing by 7? Because weeks have 7 days. Every week have 7 days. So, odd day connected to year also you should know correctly. Is it clear? Now, I will show you a question where odd day connected to year is asked in a previous CSCR net problem. More questions of this chapter is discussed in the calendar problem lecture in the full course playlist. And also in the gate playlist also calendar problem is discussed as a single lecture. Go th calendar and clock together. So that you can check out. One second. Yeah, this, yeah, this is month related. We will see year related first. Yeah, this one. This question we can see. Uh, this was a November 2020 net exam problem. Make a try all of you. Very simple question. All of you try, I'll come in a minute.
okay most of you got it simple question here also odd days is needed first day of the year 2021 so january 1 2020 sorry 2020 is a wednesday then january 1 2021 will be what so you should know the number of odd days between these two dates that is 2020 number of days now 2020 is a leap year yeah you should know uh, how to identify a leap year that we already discussed in the beginning of the class so 2020 is a leap year so definitely 366 days are there 366 corresponds to two odd days two odd days means two day shifting two day shifting wednesday two day shifting will be friday this is what happens with respect to your birth dates also if you remember in school uh, we used to celebrate uh, every birth days and um, like if this year your birthday was on a monday next year it will not be for sure on monday it will be either a tuesday or a wednesday it will be a tuesday if the given year is or there is a leap ordinary year in in between it will be a wednesday if it is a leap year in between that is purely based on this odd day concept all of you understood the importance of odd days so ordinary year one odd day leap year two odd day this concept is needed 2020 was a leap year that is why two day shifting Sometimes instead of first day, some other days can be given. For example, if the question was saying uh, March 10th of 2020 was Wednesday, then March 10th of 2021 will be what? You may think that the answer will be same, but it is not. Because 2020 is February 29 is crossed already. That is why March 10th, 2022, March 10th, 2021, there is no full leap year in between. There is only ordinary year in between. Because the February coming in between is of 2021s. That is not having February 29. That is why only one odd day. So the answer will change to Thursday if the question was March 10th. Are you getting? So you should carefully identify there is a leap year in between or an ordinary year in between. That is important. All of you clear? So, odd day collect connected to months, this is how it is important. <sighs> Sorry, odd day connected to year. Odd day connected to month also may be uh, needed in some questions. For example, this question. This is a gate 2022 problem. As I told, CSER and gate both have asked similar questions from this chapter. This was a question. Make a try. Or I will, we will try it together due to lack of time. A person was born on the 5th Monday of a February in a particular year. 5th Monday, that is a very important information. Little tricky question. But February, February to, to have 5th Monday, it should have 29 days. Because 28 days means clearly 4 complete weeks. That means Monday will be 4 in number, Tuesday will be 4 in number, Wednesday will be 4 in number, up to Sunday will be 4 in number. So, Monday to have 5 numbers, for that 28 days is not enough, 29 days should be there. So, that 4 weeks and 1 extra day, that 1 extra day should be a, a Monday. That means, Feb 1 also should be Monday. That is what indirectly the question is saying. Because if Feb 1 is Monday, Feb 8 will be Monday, Feb 15 will be Monday, Feb 22 will be Monday, Feb 29 will be Monday. Are you getting the point? All these are Mondays. Now, now read the question. Which one of the following statements is correct based on the above information? 2nd February of that year is Tuesday. 2nd February of that year is Tuesday is totally correct because 1st first, uh, first February is Monday, so 2nd February is Tuesday, so option A is correct. Now, let us check other options also for understanding. There will be 5 Sundays in the month of February in that year. 5 Sundays, no, only Monday will be 5 in number. 29 days only are there, no? If 20, 30 days was there, maybe Sunday starting, then Sunday also could have been 5 in number. But 29 days only, so it is impossible. The 1st of February of that year should be Sunday, no. It should be already Monday we discussed. All Mondays of February in that year have even dates, no. 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, only even dates are 8 and 22. So, all Mondays are wrong. Some Mondays only. So, option A is the answer. So, this is how odd day connected to months are important. CSR have also asked direct question based on odd day connected to months. This was that question. So, odd days is the most important concept in this chapter. That is the point. Odd day connected to days, odd day connected to months, odd day connected to years. 
all three you should be clear questions can be asked based on any of this odd day connected to month that was there was a question in 2022 also where question was asking this calendar similar calendar or this same number of days will be in which month's calendar there also this odd day concept is important as i told in this lecture series we are targeting on learning concepts in 30 minutes maximum concepts in 30 minutes you can check out my other lectures on calendar problem any particular topic if you want to see my lecture on it you can just type calendar for example calendar problems by christy Vergus. you will see the multiple videos i have given in different channels or different playlists based on that and by that you can learn it and or you can you can just search general aptitude with christy Vergus. not only in this channel i have given videos in many channels uh, I don't mind you people watching my videos through other channels also uh, because the, the platform I was associated with earlier there also I have I have provided a lot of videos uh, I think still those videos are there in those YouTube channels so through that also you can learn so if you want more my, more of my sessions you can search online general aptitude with Christy Vergus or Vedic Maths with Christy Vergus the different videos I have provided in different channels you can find and in this channel you can see the multiple playlists where I have provided uh, videos so I think today we can conclude here for this topic but again I'm telling today 2 p.m. and 8 30 p.m. we have two more lectures 2 p.m. we will be discussing clock problems and 8 30 p.m. we will be discussing uh, coding decoding problems so that's it. Thank you all of you. All the best for your preparation. Do hit the like button if the session was useful. Do share it to maximum people. Uh, if you feel this sessions will uh, help students and that will help me to uh, uh, schedule more lectures if more people are being part of these initiatives. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good day. All the best for your upcoming exams, whether it is CSA or GATE exam or any other exams that you are preparing. All the best. Do well. Prepare well. Thank you all of you. Take care all of you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.